Welcome to Denver, the Mile High City Avalanche country tonight. Center's both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Avalanche have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Receives the pass. Snagged with the glove by Vasilevsky. The Bolts will play it in their own end. Tampa Bay's got the puck along the wall. Denies him on the play. He really gets a lot of torque on that snapshot. Leans into this shot and forces the goalie to be sharp as he's moving while he shoots it. And that's somehow stayed out of the net. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. And finally, they ease the pressure, and they look to go the other way. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Taken by Kucherov. Here's an odd man rush. It's a two-on-one. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Oh, spectacular stop there! Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We're still scoreless. Paul's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. After the icing, there's a little more pressure on the centerman to win the draw. The Bulls played along the boards. Cutting to the front of the net. Scores! Man, I'm watching that replay, James. You didn't really have time to call his name before that puck's on and off the stick from the low slot. The Lightning have found the back of the net, and they now lead the game 1-0. There are periods of time where they're slow starters, so a goal like this will go a long way to boosting their confidence. Puck picked up by Johnson. The Bulls take possession in the defensive end. Colorado's regained possession of the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And play continues here. And he makes the save on that play. Read of the play was perfect, but it's his quickness that gets out tight to the puck, so the shooter can't elevate it anywhere. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Fails to find the open man. And now it's grabbed by Hagel. The Avs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Pass in front! What a chance, but they can't connect! And they won't connect on that one. To the front! Settles things down and gets control of it once Whoa. again. Thunder his head. Well, that's inevitable. He had his head down, got hit so hard he dropped his stick. Now he's got to go pick it up before he can join the play again. That's why coaches say keep your head up, right? Well, that's one of the reasons. Colorado's gained possession along the boards. The Avs pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. From the slot, fires away. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. A chance in front, and another stop. They are really dialed in here tonight. There's a hit on the play. Final minute approaching here in this opening frame. And he moves it up to Maroon. Fires it, makes the save, but barely with that one. He's getting peppered! Looks to make a play over to Eller. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. with you period number two the middle frame ready to go here we go middle frame now 
underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Colorado's first period is nothing to write home about. I mean, they, they started slow. They got late into the physical aspect of the game, and they never had the puck. So when you don't have it, you got to chase it. They get behind, and now they got to climb out of the hole. And a solid stop on the play there. He reacts late, but he makes the save through traffic. Hedman's not going to escape the booze tonight. They're all over him after he caused the injury earlier on in that controversial play. Slides the pass over to Kucherov. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Makar. Angles it over to point. Moves into the slot. Big save. Feed to the middle. And that's deflected off someone in front. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside. He scores! Nikita Kucherov, the former Hart Trophy winner, comes up with a big one. The Bolts make their way back to center ice here with now a two-goal lead in the second. Nice to pad the one-goal lead. They've played well, and now they've earned this spot in the game. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Shot! Oh, what a save with the stick by Georgiev. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Shot! Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Vasilevsky. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. He's got a little jump. He's in the clear. Buries it for the goal. Tampa Bay's now made it a 3-0 cushion. The race is on now. I mean, they are way out in front and dominating in puck possession and on the scoreboard. And that play's broken up. Keeps hold of the puck. Takes a shot. Oh, what a slick stop by Vasilevsky. Grabbed along the board by Sergachev. And he takes the dish. Cuts to the front. It scores! That's four strike on fire. They are so hot right now. Every pass, every shot is right in the perfect place. Tampa Bay's widened the gap yet again tonight, Ray. How far can you widen the gap? Because they keep adding on to it, it seems like, shift by shift. Fires it on net, and that's off target as it hits a body. He looks deep to Nieto. It's a 2 on 0 Scores! What a finish! Yeah, once he gets into the clear, it's like he's so decisive on what he wants, and he puts it away for the goal. The Avs still have a big mountain to climb here in the second. Yeah, but they show a little life, I guess, James. I mean, things have gone so poorly for them, but that goal has to give them a little energy. Eller's got it in the defensive end. And here's the pass to Cogliano. Centering feed! Takes a blast! Quick pass across to Kalorn. The Avs will play it in their own end. Here's a short pass to Eller. Moves the puck along the half wall. Tampa Bay's got it in their own zone. Driving right to the front. It's in the back of the net for an own goal. Tampa Bay's offensive performance is still in full effect here, even in the late stages of this period. They haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal yet. They are still pushing for more offense. Some great thievery in the open ice. Here's a chance. Scores! And look at this. They have answered back, and they needed one. Well, you could see them talking on the bench that they needed a response. Somebody had to be able to lead this team, and they get one back. Now they're back in the game. Oh, he hangs his head here, James. We look at it on the replay. He thought he stopped it, but he didn't get all of it that goes into the net. Belmar's one possession. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Stays with it. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Goes right to the crease, and he makes the save. Gorgiev's no different than anybody else tonight. I mean, that's a good stop that he makes, but he hasn't been very good, and the team has played rather poorly. 
Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Look at the Savardian spinorama. Great reach with the poke check. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Period number three just moments away as the official signals both teams into position. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Ray Ferraro is at ice level and gives us his analysis of the first two periods of play. Tampa Bay's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. And he passes it up ahead to Stamkos. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. We're still in the early stages of this period. Tampa Bay's got a 5-2 lead. McKinnon's won the draw inside the neutral zone. They'll go to work offensively here. Slides the puck across to Lekanen. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it along the wall. Pushes it across to Stamkos. Points across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Turn that chance aside. Goalie will tell you it's great positioning. I say, hey, you just got hit in the face, buddy. Makes the save as it rings right off his mask. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Everybody's trying to work their way through this, but everybody seems to be making the wrong decision out there. This night is not going very well. Man advantage unit is set. You want to win the special teams battle almost every night. Well, the power play's first chance to check in here. We'll see what they can get done. Came up with the save on that play. And he comes up with it. There's another stop. Dead center, excellent save. The Lightning have the puck against the boards. Moves it around along the half wall. Poked away. Quick pass to Paul. My goodness, the pressure really building here in the offensive end. That's picked up by the D. And look at that, they finally get it out, and here they go in transition. And that goes off a player. Tampa Bay's got the puck behind the net. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Colorado's got the puck against the wall. Feeds it on over to Sorelli. Oh, and he gets in front of that to make a great save. Gorgiev's able to handle that shot with no problem, and he gets it into the corner for safety. The Avs are having a brutal night. Look, I played in Atlanta. We had a lot of these, James. They are no fun to play. Now a quick pass to Byron. Puck goes out of play. We got a faceoff coming up. Past the midway mark in this period. It's a 5-2 hockey game. Tampa Bay's won the draw. And now it's over to Maroon. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Manson. Colorado's got a hold of the puck. Slides it up front. Drives to the sweet spot. Turned aside with a glove by Vasilevsky. Puck moved over to Maroon. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. The Avs have it against the wall. On the attack along the boards. Can't make it work. Colorado's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Byram. Sends it to the middle. Picked off in front. And he takes the feed. The Avs gain possession. 
Moves it to Cogliano. Nearing the final minute of the third. And he had the answer on that play. The Lightning have taken possession along the wall. Poked away at center by Makar. Picked up along the wall by Rantanen. Moves it quickly over to McKinnon. Turns another aside. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. And that slides right out to center ice. And he regains control of the puck. Colorado's got it against the boards. A chance out front. Takes a shot. Takes the puck behind the net. Back to the point it goes. Here's the chance. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Vasilevsky. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. There's a hit right there. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. Well, they get the win and really control many of the small areas of the game. They were good in the face-off. Their center-right position is such a strength for them.